just uh i mean it's one of those games you kind of see it coming uh we have blown in pretty hard uh be hard to hit the ball over people's head obviously the outfielder's head and i think that you know it took us a while to figure out you know their their starter i, I felt like he threw the ball extremely well he was throwing the ball hard and spotting up his breaking ball away from the right handers and um, I don't know if they expected him to go that long, but, uh, you know, he, he got us to hit and do a couple of double plays and just, uh, you know, kept getting off the hook with, with two outs. You know, we've been getting some of those hits. We really didn't get them today. Um, our runs today came more earlier in the innings for the most part, it seemed like, at least first few. Um, you know, our pitchers, they threw strikes. We only walked two on the day and um, – you know, you, you got to give Wright State credit, man. Those guys go up there and swing. Again, another experienced mid-major school that um, they know the strike zone. They make you pitch. And, uh, you know, we uh, we maneuvered through it. But uh, there were a lot of balls that were hit at people by both teams today. Um, you know, feel good about obviously winning the series, but even better about winning all three. It seemed like he picked up a little bit of juice in his last couple of innings. I think he even touched 96 a couple of times. Uh, did you see something from it? Was that maybe just a situation, had some adrenaline, you're closing the game? Probably a little bit of both. I think he was – they were hitting him, probably upset about it. Um, so, wasn't locating where he wanted to, or they were just hitting some good pitches. Might have been a little bit of both. But he did uh, seem to get a little bit of, a little bit extra there in the ninth. And, uh, you know, it was – uh you know, it's a situation where he's one of the more experienced guys that we have. And, uh, you know, we we really wanted him to face those right-handers in that last inning, um, the possibility for us going to a freshman lefty to get up those next two guys. So, glad it worked out. It seems like it's taken him about an inning to get going in his last couple starts. I remember that being some of the, something of a situation with Hagen last year. Do you think you might have to – switch up his routine or something or what's going on there? Well, you know, he's a junior. He's not a freshman. Hagan was a freshman last year. Hunter's been around and he he needs to go out there and get it going. And, uh, you know, he goes 0-2 on the leadoff, man. Two really nice pitches. Next thing you know, he walks him. And uh, that was really frustrating. And you got to give their leadoff man is good. I mean, he'll fight you. And if you throw him down the middle, he'll hit it. And that's about all he swings at until he gets a couple strikes at it on him first couple of times. Then he kind of sets you up and he'll jump you. Maybe in his fourth at bat, he'll go after that first pitch as you're thinking he's taken. So he he did a good job all weekend. He had a great weekend here. Um, yeah. And speaking with about Holland, uh, what, what did you see from him in the later innings that that he made him so efficient? Um, I felt like he could throw his change up towards the second half of the game better than he did the first half. It just seemed like. He, he threw, you know, a few of those in some clutch situations, some cutters as well. Um, but he was around the plate all day. There really weren't a lot of bad misses or anything. It was just, you know, he, he they just kept fouling pitches off. He, he, they were tough to put away. Do you have any update on Cody Frank? Or could you t like give us any insight on what it was that was bothering? We couldn't really tell. Well, it's not his arm. It's about all I can tell you. I don't know anything yet. Callie committed the error that loaded the bases in the eighth, and then two pitches later, it hit right back to him with yeah. a similar play. What, what did you think of that sequence? Well, the first play was tougher than the second one. It was an in-between hop. You know, he could have kind of done what I call one step up, two step back on the first one and just got an out. But in his mind, in our mind, we're looking for a double play there. If he if that ball stays in his glove, he steps on third and throws to first. And uh, But it was a longer in-between hop. Um, the second one was – like you said, kind of the same ball, but the ball was a little – it stayed down better. And, uh, you know, it was a good play. I appreciate him not shying away from that second one. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I kicked one, please don't hit it to me. He's probably thinking, hey, hit it to me. I'm going to give me another shot at this. And that's what I saw. Underrated play was the, the tag that Stovall applied on the, the runner yeah. on in the sixth inning. Yeah, to me, it was a really good tag, really good throw. Peyton was a little late getting to the base. You know, he's playing a little deep, so we'll we'll talk about that a little bit. You know, you got to give up something. They have runners on. You have to you have to shorten up or, you know, do whatever. Cut down on on uh, the distance between the, the covering infielder for sure and the base. And he was a touch late, but he caught it, tagged all at the same time. It was a great play. 
a week ago, you said something about, you know, you needed some guys to step up on the mound and you've had Carter step up and Adcock has looked better, led better, but then you also lose the two guys this week. Just how frustrating is that, that you yeah. get some guys step up and you also lose some? Well, one reason I say we had to have some guys step up is because, you know, we've had now three pitchers go down one for the year, one for, we don't know how long until probably tomorrow night. We are hoping it's, you know, five or six weeks at the most. You never know. And then, you know, we don't know what, what's going on with, with Franks either. So somebody's going to have to step up because um, we, we need some more arms or we're going to have to make some adjustments on how we, how we handle games. Um, Chase Borfin just continues to be on a tear with three hits, three RBIs today. What more can you say about him? Yeah, I mean, he didn't have a great game on Friday. I think he was frustrated. And um, he's put together two really solid games back to back, and he's just, you know, doing what he does. He's he's he he doesn't try to he doesn't try to hook balls. He just hit it where it's pitched, and he got him a fastball away, and hit it hit it into that wind, kind of got it to the side where it could get through it and take off a little bit. And I mean, that was a big swing for us right there. It gave us a lead. It felt like in this series that all three of your starters were facing a lot of full counts. Is that a an indication that Wright State might have been doing some things that? Well, on Friday, it was an indication that he was all over the place. And uh, then they fouled pitches off, and he, he, I think he told you that. Uh, yesterday, which I try to move on from, I don't really remember. Today, there I thought they did a good job of fouling off pitches because I, I, I felt like Hunter was around the zone. And, you know, they just were hard to put away. And, uh, you know, like I said, maybe the fourth, fifth, and sixth started using that. I think he's commanded his change up better in those innings than maybe he did early. Two base error uh, in the what, fifth inning. How, how important do you think that was, just considering you hadn't scored to that point? Well, we were just looking for something to happen. And, uh, you know, we kind of got rewarded there for a, just a bad play by the third baseman. I mean, he fielded the ball and then airmailed it. Um, Got to give Cali credit. He hustled all the way down the line. Ran his, you know, he didn't out. And I got jammed and gonna, he was going to be a 5-3 and here we go. He got down the line and and that gave us opportunity to, you know, I guess him get tangled up at the first base a little bit and then the ball got away and there you go. So, uh, we needed to run. We were down. So I, I guess you could say that was a little bit of a momentum swing for us. Just overall with Wright State, I think they're now two and eight on the year, but this is a team that's had a lot of success, a lot of returning pieces. Do you think this is a series that's going to age really well throughout the season when you look at I think so. I told our players that, you know, they, they've they gone on the road for their all their games, I think. And, you know, they went five and one and five against the SEC and, um, they'll probably get into league play and win the league, come in first, second in the league, win the tournament. Uh, they, they they can hit. They've got enough arms. They stay healthy that they're, they're going to be fine. But they gave us a good challenge. All three of those games were actually better games than maybe the score ended up being. Too early to know about Faraday, what the injury was with him yesterday. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. He's uh, – he, yeah, we don't know what it was. He's, he doesn't have any tears or anything. He just little issues with some circulation or something is what I've gathered. Yeah, runs were a little bit hard to come by today, but your lineup's been pretty good so far through the first 11 games. How big has that been considering maybe the inconsistencies and injuries on the mound? It's been huge. Um, you know, um, the offense has been good. They've been finding ways to put together. It seems like most every game they, they put together a what we call a cricket number inning where they're scoring – two, three, four runs. Um, but they've also had a lot of innings. Where we score one here, one there, and then we, we put you away with a big inning. And it has to do with play, uh, plate discipline and, uh, you know, just making the other team work a little bit. Today, you know, uh, we did that, but uh, we also put the ball in play and they kicked a couple. Okay.